Hello and welcome to my latest video. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint the worn looking trousers on this orc. So, let's get started. In my wet palette I have Scale 75 Eclipse Grey, Citadel Mechanicus Grey, Citadel Celestra Grey. Then, on the bottom row from left to right, we have Citadel Xandri Dust, Citadel Thousand Suns Blue and Citadel XV88. The base coat will be Eclipse Grey from scale 75. This paint is thinned a little with water, not too much, just enough to give a nice smooth finish. I'm using an old brush for this. I'm not trying for crisp sharp edges, all I'm trying to do is leave some black paint in the recesses. It may take a couple of coats to get it covered. This will depend on how much water is added to the paint. Notice my brush strokes are quite rough, as I'm trying to create a worn tatty look. Here you can see I've painted the other leg in the same way. Next, I take some of the Mechanicus Grey and apply it as a highlight. This will be applied to the same areas as the Eclipse Grey, only in a slightly smaller area. Again, notice how I'm using an older brush where the point has worn out, I'm almost stippling on the paint in a rough manner. The paint has been thinned about 50-50 with water, so as it dries it will darken a little and not look so stark as it does here. Again I have finished the other leg using the same method. I then made a mix from the Mechanicus Grey and the Eclipse Grey, around a 50-50 mix. Some of the Xandri dust was added. This was to add a little warmth to the mix. Some more Eclipse Grey until I get the shade I'm after. Then some water to make the mix into a glaze. Roughly three parts water to one part paint. Apply this glaze to the model in the mid-tones, where there is a step between the shadows and the highlights. As you can see, I am being very accurate with the application to begin with. I'm focusing firstly on the areas that require the most blending. I'm making tiny marks with the paint to build up texture at the same time blending in the highlights. Notice how little of the paints I actually apply to the model. After loading the brush I remove most of it on a paper towel. The glazes dry very quickly. This is because they are applied with pretty much just a damp brush. If when applying your glazes they are pooling, then you need to remove more paint from the brush. As you can see from the wet palette, I have added some Vallejo Matte Black. I mix this with the Eclipse Grey. And add water to make another glaze. Apply this to the darker shadows.
As you can see I am creating textures by stippling here. It will take several layers to create good transitions. Take your time and only focus on the darker areas at this stage. I have finished the other leg off camera. The next highlight will be with Celestra Grey mixed with a little Mechanicus Grey. And a little water. Apply this in the same areas as the previous highlights, this time covering a smaller area Again this was painted making tiny marks, with the stippling method, building up texture. The paint is mixed with water, to about a 50-50 ratio. Notice how when it's applied it looks bright, but as it dries it darkens and begins to blend in. A second or third layer is painted onto the areas I want brighter. The second leg is also now finished up to the same stage. Another glaze is made from Mechanicus Grey, Eclipse Grey, and a little XV88. Add plenty of water to this, roughly three parts water to one part paint. Same method and technique as before, focusing on the mid-tones. Notice how I'm manipulating the glaze over the areas that require blending. Try to avoid getting your glazes over the brightest highlights. Several passes will be needed to create a smooth transition. Both sides are now glazed over. I now add some Citadel Rhinox hide to the palette. This is to add some warmer tones into the shadows. I mix it into the black and eclipse grey mix we made earlier. Along with some more black. And plenty of water roughly four parts water to one part paint. I add a little more Rhinox hide and a little more Eclipse Grey. 
until I get the desired color. Then more water to bring it back to the required consistency. This glaze is applied from the mid-tones to the darkest areas only. Notice I'm trying to make my brush strokes push the paint towards the darkest areas. This is because the brush will deposit the most paint at the end of the brush stroke. Now I go with just black and Rhinox Hide to darken further. I'm being a little more careful and precise with this. Trying hard only to get it into the deepest recesses and darkest areas. Again some stippling is used to create texture. I have painted the other side to the same stage now. Final highlights will be with pure Celestra Grey, mixed with some water. Apply these to the same areas as a previous highlights. At this time cover a smaller area. Tiny marks are made with stippling to create more texture. The paint was making strong marks so I added more water. Again, I wanted the paint to fade as it dried. I made the ratio about 50-50 paint to water. Notice how the marks are now a lot more subtle. Once again, I've gone in and painted the other leg off camera. One then takes some Mechanicus Grey and mix it with some Celestra Grey. It's about a 50-50 mix, then I add some water. This was then used very sparingly and precisely to blend any of the Celestra Grey highlights in. As you can see, 
I'm only making tiny marks on the model. Most of the work is now done, but it's time to add some very thin glazes of color. I start with XV88, and then thin it to approximately 5 parts water to 1 part paint. I try to avoid putting these glazes over the brightest highlights, as they will alter the color too much. I mainly focus on the mid-tones and shadows. These are very thin glazes, as you can see. I have removed virtually all of the paint from the brush before applying, so the brush is just damp. This way the glaze dries very fast, and we can build up very subtle layers of the colour. The next glaze I will apply will be Thousand Suns Blue. This paint is highly saturated, so may require more water. Roughly 5 or 6 parts water to 1 part paint. I'm going to focus this on the upper areas. I have added some more Rhinox hide into the top right hand corner of the wet palette. This I will make into a glaze. Again 5 parts water to 1 part paint. I'm only going to focus this on the mid-tones and shadows. Remembering the paintbrush will always deposit the most paint at the end of the brush stroke. I will be pushing the paint with the brush into the shadows, ending the brush stroke there. I try to avoid getting any of this brown glaze on the brightest highlights. I don't feel like there's enough blue in the trousers color, so to enhance this I make some more passes with the Thousand Suns blue glaze. A mix of the Thousand Suns blue and the XV88 is then made into a final glaze this will be passed over everything to tie it all together. And there we have it, the trousers are finished. I think this technique is great for creating a worn look to any item of fabric on your models. If you enjoyed the video, then please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps and allows me to create more content. Thanks for watching.